What's poppin' and welcome back to a brand new episode of 3 Hour Build. The series where I try to build as much of an app as possible within 3 hours. And today we're gonna be building a habits app. So without further ado, let's turn around and get right into the video. So I prepped this timer here for 3 hours. I'm gonna press it, we're gonna start the timer, and we're gonna begin building as much of this app that we can in 3 hours. Let's start the timer now. Okay, 3 hours to build as much of a habits app as we can. I've set this Flutter app up already. Uh, you can see we have this boilerplate that you get, the kind of standard. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove all of this boilerplate. So we're just left with the uh, original app. And then after that, we're going to try to build a little navigation bar at the bottom. That's going to be the first thing that we're going to do. So you can press the navigation bar, be taken to a new screen. And then after that, we're going to be working on the home page. But first of all, let's get that na bottom notification bar going. <music> So we're about 2 hours and 47 minutes left, so we've spent around 30 minutes, I guess this is very quick. What I've done is I've set up a, a little bit of a navigation page here. So we have this main, uh, main file, inside of that we just have a navigation page. So the main app essentially is just this indexed stack. And within this indexed stack we're showing uh, the different screens that we have. And the different screens will be a home page, a progress page, a habits page and then a profile page. And those are the ones you can see at the bottom. So as we click one of these, for example, we're, we're uh, pressing habits, for example, then we're changing the index, uh, the current index that we're on to whatever index that we're pressing, which also means that we're updating the index here. And as you see, the index of the index stack is the same as the index here. So when I press the uh, progress page, for example, or the home page, I'm switching the index in this list to whatever index it happens to be uh, in this bottom navigation bar, and they happen to be in the same orders. So when I press one, I also switch to the correct one. But now we've got this set up so you can navigate them amongst these uh, pages, and now we'll be working on the home page app, which will be like the essential, the, the main part of the app, I guess. And I think we're gonna go, go with the purple vibe. I'm gonna see if I can find any uh, inspiration online. But uh, should be pretty good. Let's get going. Thirty-five minutes into the challenge, I've made some good progress. Like this is going quite quick. To be fair, I kind of had prepared this background before because I know if I'm going to mess around with Canva, that's going to take so much time. And this is a coding challenge on a designing challenge, right? I do did have this from the beginning, which I'm kind of sticking to, and I'm there, as you see, I'm taking some inspiration to it. I've changed the colors a little bit to fit the more purple theme that I want, but I think I've made some good progress. So I have this uh, initial screen here. Essentially, all this is is just a big column with a stacked widget that has an image that has text on top of it. After that we have another container with rounded corners followed by a progress indicator here that I've just given the value of 50% to begin with. What we're gonna do now is to kind of give this first uh, build a little list here. I think we're gonna create some like dummy habits to begin with to see how much we have time with if we have time to create a function to make your own habits but we're gonna begin with some predetermined habits that we're gonna put in this app and then we're gonna make that um, yeah, usable. So you can click your habits, for example, saying, yeah, this habit, boom, done that, this habit, done that. And then hopefully we should get this linear progress indicator to update accordingly, which is a little bit difficult, but I'm sure we can work a way uh, around it to do it. So that's what I'm going to be taking the next hour or so on. I guess it's going to take that long. Maybe it takes like 20 minutes, maybe it takes an hour and 20 minutes. I have no clue with these things because it's so, like, this is so weird with coding. Like, sometimes it will just be boom and you'll have it straight away. Sometimes you need to test, test, test. And yeah, right now it just feels like this is going really well. So hopefully it continues like that. But see you on the flip side. Okay, so I kind of made this dummy list where we just have a list that's called habit list where we have some dummy habits it's like coding, read, drink water, all those regular kind of habits that you may imagine having. So what we're going to do now in this home page is we're going to below this column here or in this size box that's below this little column here, we're going to add a list view 
builder that will take every item of this list and then it will create a or it will build a list essentially based on this and I think this needs an item uh, length which is gonna be I'm not sure what it's called item count maybe yeah there we go and that's gonna be uh, uh, the index list so we're gonna take this habit list we're gonna paste that we're gonna need to import it uh, like that and then we're gonna take length so the length of this uh, list builder is gonna be how many items that we have in this particular list we're gonna go with item Builder, which is gonna be, which is gonna be a context, an integer, which is gonna be the index that we're on, and after that, we're gonna do like this. And we're gonna return a list tile from this. So for every item that we have in this item builder, we're gonna return a list tile. So right now we don't really have anything in the list tile, so let's just try and see if we can fetch whatever we're on. So we're gonna take the habit list, we're gonna select the index that we're on, which will be uh, the first thing. And then after that, we also actually see this is like, like a nested list, I believe we call it. So we have, this is one big list, but within this we have another list. So we're gonna take for the first index, which is essentially this, we're gonna take also the first value, which will be the checkbox. So, or I guess the title, we kinda want this, right? So we're gonna take the second index. So we're gonna go with one like that let's check or first of all i guess this needs to be a text right so we're gonna wrap this inside of a text widget and now if we do like that there we go we have all of those values so now we're just gonna make them tidy tidy them up a little bit by for example adding a leading which is gonna be a check box and then the value is gonna be from the habit list we're gonna select the index that we're on and then we're gonna go with the first one since that's what we have. And then I guess this also needs an on change parameter, I believe. Add something. Or I guess on change, we actually want to uh, take the value and we wanna set the habit list. We wanna set it to the value. So if you press it, we actually take the value that we're on and we change this list so we change if we for example if we have false now then we're gonna press this so when it press the checkbox we're gonna call this uh, function which is then gonna set this to true if it's false and it's gonna set it to false if it's true sweet and now we can update it and i believe we should also be able to change pages since we've updated the list cool yeah so that's essentially the list build builder that we'll be working on and then nice it look it's below this now so i guess we need to also change the padding of this because we don't really want any padding so we're gonna put zero so that this is all the way up perfect and now we're just gonna add the subtitle the icon and that's pretty much it for the first page let's continue <music> So we're about an hour and five minutes into this whole thing and I've pretty much completed the first page. I think it looks pretty good. So you have this uh, intro page where you can see all of your habits based on this list builder that I talked about earlier. Right now it's just dummy stuff. I'm gonna see if I have time to add the functionality where you can add stuff to this list which would make it pretty cool. But we have this home page where essentially we first have this which is just a stacked widget like I said before. Then we have another container here which is this round these rounded edges here inside of this container we have a column first in the column we have this size box where you can see this progress bar after that we have another container which is filled with a list view builder and this list view builder takes all of the stuff which is in this habits list and it just builds a bunch of list tiles based on this then this is the exciting part when i press one of these uh, these things i will then change first i will change whatever value if it's false i'll change the value to true if it's true i'll change the value to false if this has been completed or not which is basically the status of this task uh, and i will also do this that i'll change the counter to uh, whatever number uh, it should be so for example this starts at zero again again this can be saved in like shared preferences or something like that later on but the counter will be starting at zero if i'm adding one i will then add one to this counter if i'm pressing that again i will then remove one from this counter 
and when I've added one to this counter, I will take the counter and I will divide that by the total length of the list to get the progress. So right now if I click 1, that's 70%, if I click 2, that's 33%, etc. Same thing here with the progress. It also just works in the same way that I'm taking the total length of the list and I'm uh, taking the counter and I'm dividing the counter by the total length of the list to see okay what's my overall progress and same up here with this so I think this is pretty good it seems to work quite well and it's quite a good habit app you can keep track of your habits every day and uh, now we're gonna add, add a little bit of a progress page which kind of like you can see an overview of how you progressed over this a certain period of time um, I'm thinking like this is gonna be a little bit dummy first and I'm gonna see at the end how much time we have left we have around an hour and 50 minutes so we should have some time to complete some of the stuff but I'm thinking something that looks very similar to this so you can see like this week and you have some kind of chart I think I know one library for Flutter that has uh, charts which would be pretty useful but let's see if we can get that to look nice let's continue <music> Just another sunny day in Southern California. It's where the people came to play. Don't let them transform. Ya. Oh. Okay, so as you can see on the clock here, we're pretty much halfway. So I spent around an hour and 30 minutes and what we've accomplished is this page that you showed you before which is essentially the main page of it all and then now we've built this second page. Again this is just dummy numbers now because I think this page is going to be quite complicated and make functional. We'll see if we have time for it but I want to spend some time on the visualization page which is where I'm going to make some charts etc where you can nicely visualize how good you are at doing your habits. I'm going to see if I can find a package for this and then we're going to begin implementing that. I will give you that in the voiceover. But just to show you this page, this is kind of like the progress of your week. So where you can see top habits this week, worst habits this week. For example, drinking water, yeah, I've completed that every single day. Uh, coding, I've done that one day out of the seven, for example. So this is just a kind of like a brief overview. I guess later on you can implement, for example, if I click this and then I save that for this week, I will then update this chart for example, however as you know I only have 3 hours so we're gonna make as much as we can within that short period of time and once we've made everything look good we can see how much functionality we can add. Right now the only functionality is that you can kind of track for this one day and other than that we don't really have any functionality. But let's see if we can manage to get some nice visualizations and I'll catch you on that side. It's the best that I spent the longest on was actually getting the actual visualization. I found this really useful package called FL Charts. Basically it's a package where you can use for Flutter in order to build beautiful visualizations and I made the most of it, in my opinion at least. I used it to build this kind of habit overview where you could see how have I been tracking for my habits over the past X number of months for example and I kind of adapted this based on an example that they had because the package itself was relatively complicated to use. However, if you wanted to make this functional, for example, it wouldn't be too difficult to pass variables into these different variables that you have within this package and therefore set the values based on this. However, as you know, we only had three hours, so I couldn't spend too much time on this. And I managed to finish this to some degree, but we have some nice visualization. It wouldn't be too difficult to make this functional, but then I was almost out of time, so I had to move on to the next part, which was the profile page. <laughs> minutes 22 seconds to go I have managed to add some kind of uh, habit adder where you can press this little floating action button down here you'll get this uh, little pop-up and what this is is essentially a show dialogue that will just launch when you press this it will say add a habit and um, it will then have the habit name and the habit description and we're not adding an icon right now we can do that later or, like select a random one um, and then you have two buttons at the bottom you can cancel which will then just close this or you can uh, Add whatever you've written here. So for example, if you've written a habit name It will call this function which is add habit list and what it will do is it will, it will essentially take two arguments One which is the habit name and one which is the habit description It will then 
add to this habit list, which is the one we had before that we're building from, and it will set the status to false because we haven't really completed this habit yet, of course. And then it will change the habit name, the habit description, and right now we're just taking an ABC icon. So if I, for example, just write habit name, habit description, I save that, I will add that to the bottom of this uh, list, which is, yeah, it works pretty well, but again, uh, not super optimal, if you'd say. But uh, quite easy to make this functional if, you, if you'd wanted to, but we only have three hours, so we're not really gonna put too much time into it. Now we have exactly 12 minutes left, and we're gonna take 12 minutes to build as much as we can of this profile page. So let's see how much we can get done. This is gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but I'm sure we can do it. Okay, I just finished literally just now, like, uh, Two seconds I had uh, before the time just ran out, as you see on the screen. So I kind of finished the app. It's looking, uh, it's looking decent. Like it's, uh, you know, could definitely be better, but it could also be a lot worse in the short period of time that I've given myself. But I thought I'm gonna stop the screen recording and then I'm gonna show you kind of the app, like what I've built, etc. A little bit of all the code behind it. Not gonna go through it too much. It's all gonna be in GitHub down below if you wanna check it out. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at it. Okay, so here we have the app in itself. This is kind of the home page where you can see uh, your main stuff, like your main habits. So you can, you know, drink water, read, that's what kind of habits people have, I'm not really sure. And then this actually kind of works. So the app's like semi-functional, okay, but it's barely functional if I'm being honest. Uh, but it would be quite easy to make this kind of skeleton functional since you can just add functions to whatever. Uh, this is applied to but for example if I press drink water I read I exercise I've done all of those things and um, it's now at 50% out of these six so for example we have another one 67 also the same way it will remove progress if I uh, click them also you can add a habit so for example say our habit is to uh, read the physics book or yeah we'll call it that read the physics book save and that will then be added to the list. So for example, you can see that we now have read physics as well, and that's taken into account in our progress. So I can click that, I can click that, click that, click that, click that, we're at 100%, unclick that, we're at 86%, for example. So that works relatively well, and that works by me taking uh, a list of dummy things, and then after that we have this home maiden page where we're just taking this list view builder and we're taking all of the items within that list, so that's our item count, the length of that list. We're taking and building a list tile for each item within that list where the title is the title that we have here, which is index 1, so whatever is here for example. And uh, then after that you can uh, add it by or add it at the status of it by clicking that check mark and if it's changing the value to false then we will remove one if it's changing the value to true then we'll add one to the counter and this counter is what's used to determine the value of this linear progress indicator so we're just taking the total number of items that we have in the list and what the counter is on right now to determine okay what's our progress in in this Moving back to the app, so then we have a little bit of a dummy page which just shows the habits this week was the thinking. So you have like a little list tile that just shows uh, the status of this particular task this week. So then it will show ordered by completion status. So drinking water that's 100% complete, whereas coding that's just like 10% complete. So it will take the top habits, put them up here, the worst habits, put them down there. Again, uh, I think it looks quite nice. This is one of the, these two pages look really good. I think they're quite professional. Now we're moving over to the little bit more shady pages, not as good looking. This is one of the uh, packages I used. It's called FL Chart, where you can, it was relatively complicated, but they had some really good examples actually. So I've made this chart builder where uh, basically what you do is you set the uh, you set all of the parameters that they have for example they have the uh, y, y axis the x axis and then you can set the values now I've just set 
uh, dummy data here again it would be relatively easy to just pass for example values to these to these uh, widgets for example pass whatever percentage to be or whatever value it should be as you can see here so in January it should be 86% for example that's relatively easy to to pass to a widget like this but again I was short on time so I don't really have time to do it but it will be quite it will work quite easily to, to add so what that then does is just displays that over time and you can actually press this see if I can hit the mouse on it and you can see what's my progress over time so like okay October 48% December 75% progress and you can kind of follow your habits in in that manner I think it looks pretty good and then heading over to the uh, profile page the profile page is very simple that's just a list view with a bunch of list tiles within it I don't really I like you saw I did this in eight minutes so I don't really have too much time to put any function into this but it will just be a list tile with the leading icon, a title, which is then, for example, account info, and then uh, the arrow at the end. So, and the, this gives this, and this is a circle avatar here at the top. And then we have this little log at, uh, at the bottom. Yeah, I think it looks quite nice. Quick overview again. You have the main page where you can add or you can uh, uh, change the habits you have. You can, uh, for example, change the progress. You can visualize the habits you have this week, what you're good at, what you're bad at. You can also uh, visualize it in the chart over a longer period of time if you've been subscribed to the app for that period of time. Then you can go over here and you can kind of view your account info, like your subscription info, all your habits about this app, etc. I did all of that in three hours. Uh, admittedly, I did uh, look into a little bit of research before. I did, for example, make one of these background pages and I also found a good sample that I used. All in all, I'm relatively happy with uh, how the app turned out. Probably, hopefully learned a lot. For example, I had no clue how to do visualizations in Flutter before. I kind of, I don't really know it well enough, but I know some about it. That is that for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this series then don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe so you can see more of these three hour builds if you have any ideas what you think we should build in the future then leave them down below and i'll see you in the next one peace